I found a circuit on the internet. I'll show the internet site after I make this video. Um, because I'd like to build a clock sometime. And I got all kinds of chips, the 74 type, 74 XX chips. All kinds of different ones. So I decided to um, build a counter. I found a counter circuit on a site and I built my first counter my first circuit built using 74 type chips this one uses a 7490 and a 7447 and um, I it's on this fabulous little breadboard kit here this breadboard deal this actually it's called the digital exerciser from the National Institute of Technology um, I have an analog exerciser right there it actually says National Institute of Technology but um the nice thing is it has these little pulsers will send out on or off signal whenever you pulse them like that so I'm able to send a counting uh, I'm able to send a pulse into the chip and I'm able to make the counter count to nine and then it goes back to zero because it's only one digit it's only it's a sideways counter I have to turn the camera around but Turn it on. Now, for some reason, it likes to start at four. Now, this is glowing red. The camera exaggerates the light. It doesn't have a nice red glow, like it's on the camera screen. But it does in real life. But each time we do our pulser, changes the number. So that's just super, super awesome. I've never built a counter before until today, the 30th of September, 2010. So let's turn it like this and just give a really nice close-up shot and let's pulse our counter. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So you have the 470 ohm resistors. I mean, this is just great, man. I'm sure I have probably have all the chips needed to build a clock. I've got so many different 74XX chips. That I scored at an estate sale, all with all kinds of other components. See, I've got it going to the drawers for resistors. So I got these resistors. I've got some chips here, the types that I needed: 7490s, 7447, also 7448 in there too. So it's great. You can just do that. See that? So we've got a 5 volt regulated supply in it. Let's do it really fast. I'm thinking someday I might build a circuit with the 555 chip and make it send out a pulse make it adjustable by a trimmer so I can put that pulse into pin 14 of the 7490 so I can have it automatically count and sometime I'm hoping I started this before but hoping to build a clock because that would be really cool I will now be going to the website that I found the circuit on um, as you can see my desktop is a picture of a Sanyo M2533 cassette recorder one of my favorites if you don't know I'm a tape recorder freak but you know <laughs> got it bookmarked electronic circuits it's on this site um, it's www.aaroncake.net slash circuits slash seven segment LED counter and that is the circuit diagram right there that I use and it's a very nice easy to build counter and um, it's great and very awesome very awesome indeed it's the rocks man I really like it so here we go next stop Windows Movie Maker
so I can edit this video and put it on YouTube.